Lesson 2.12, Compare Three-Digit Numbers. We're going to talk about the less than, greater than, and equal to symbols in this lesson. We can compare three-digit numbers by using place value. We start with the greatest place value, the hundreds place. If the hundreds are the same, we compare their tens. And if their tens are the same, we compare their ones. We can use math symbols to write is greater than, is less than, or is equal to. This symbol is for is greater than, 5 is greater than 3. This symbol is for less than, 4 is less than 10. And of course, you know this is equal to, 2 is equal to 2. Some students have trouble remembering which sign is the less than and which sign is the greater than. We're going to talk about several ways during this video, but one of them is because this is the less than symbol, the less than symbol faces the same direction as an uppercase L. This symbol means less than, and it kind of looks like a sideways L, doesn't it? It looks like an L that's been on a slant. So that's less than. We can use place value to compare numbers. Lining up the numbers on top of each other makes it easy to compare the place values. We have the hundreds on top of the hundreds, tens on top of the tens, ones on top of the ones, and we can see three hundreds is less than four hundreds. That means 367 is less than 425. This has more hundreds, so this is the greater number. This one is less than that one. See? Here the hundreds are equal, so we compare the tens. They have the same digit in the hundreds place, so we move to the tens place. And four tens is greater than two tens, so 142 is greater than 116. Here, we need to compare the numbers and write the symbols greater than, less than, or equal to in the circle. We have them stacked on top of each other so we can compare their place values very easily. And we can see three hundreds is greater than two hundreds. We don't need to compare the other digits. We already see that this one has more hundreds, so 327 is greater. By starting with the greatest place value, we can see which one is less or greater right away. 327 is greater than 267. Here, we have an 8 in both hundreds places. So we move to the tens place to compare, but look, they both have a 4 in the tens place. Well, in this case, we're going to have to move again to the ones place to compare them. Two ones is less than six ones. That means 842 is less than 846. When the digits in the hundreds place are the same, we move to the tens place. And if those are the same, we move again to the ones place to compare. Reading the symbols, we have 327 is greater than 267. Here we have 842 is less than 846. 196 is equal to 196. When the digits in the hundreds place are equal, we move to the tens place to compare the numbers. Both numbers here have a six in the hundreds place, so we look to the next lesser place value to compare them. We look at their tens place. And 110 is less than four tens, so 618 is less than 647. When the digits in the hundreds and the tens are equal, we compare their ones digit. We have a two in the hundreds place for both numbers. We have a one in the tens place for both numbers. So we compare the ones place. Nine ones is greater than seven ones, so 219 is greater than 217. 
So remember, the open side of the symbol faces the greater number, like 10 is greater than 4, so our symbol has the big open side by the bigger number. So as I said earlier, there's many ways to remember these symbols. Some people say the big mouth eats the big numbers. See how the symbol looks like a big mouth? Three is less than six. Six is the greater number, so the big mouth is going to eat the big number. We can also look at this side of the symbol is a big opening, and here we have a small little point. So the big number goes by the big opening, and the small number goes by the small little point. So there's many ways to remember which direction to face the symbols. And remember, the less than symbol, which faces this way, kind of looks like a sideways or crooked L for less. These numbers are written in expanded form. We need to write the three-digit number, then compare. We have 200 plus 50 plus 3. We need to write that as a three-digit number. Here we have 200 plus 30 plus 5. We need to write that as a three-digit number. The two numbers we're comparing are 253 and 235. And they both have a 2 in their hundreds place, so we compare the tens place. Five tens are greater than three tens, so 253 is the greater number. We write our symbol with the big open side facing that greater number. We can read this comparison as 253 is greater than 235. Here, we need to write a three-digit number that makes the comparison true. So we think we can choose any number we want if it makes the comparison true. Any number. We have 612 is greater than. We can put any number here that 612 is greater than. 612 is greater than 611, isn't it? But it's also greater than 610, 609, 608. We have a lot of digits and numbers we could choose. For this one, some number blank is less than 178. We can choose any number we want as long as it's less than 178. We can choose 177, 176, and we can keep going all the way down to zero if we wanted. It'll make the comparison true. So remember to always begin by comparing the greatest place value first. And it doesn't matter how great the number is, we always begin with the greatest place value. If we wanted to compare thousands, here we have a 7,000, here we have a 9,000, we compare the thousands place. And 9,000 is greater, so we know this is the greater number. Here we have 24,000 and 21,000. They both have a 2 in the 10,000s place, so we look in the 1,000s place. 4,000 is greater than 1,000, so this is the greater number. doesn't matter how great the number is. It could even be millions. We always begin with the greatest place value first. We're going to be moving on to Chapter 3 now, and that's all about addition and subtraction. But it's easy addition and subtraction so it shouldn't be too hard for you. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really nice day. Bye.